Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. Uh, as well, Scorpio, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or if you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio, I'd be really appreciative of it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take the extra step to support my reading channel that way. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, and before we get into this reading for you, Scorpio, I want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. When it comes to my weekly readings, my when it comes to my tarot readings in general, uh, Scorpio, they're just here to give you uh, some food for thought, a perspective to, to consider, but never making the decision in your life. And with all that being said, Scorpio, let's just get into your weekly tarot reading now. <clears throat> I pulled some cards for you already, uh, Scorpio, as I was babbling on, uh, so I could get an idea of where it is that you guys are currently at in your current, uh, in your life right now, uh, Scorpio. And it seems to be like you guys are left with some choices. Uh, it feels almost like Scorpio, you guys are left with being like, all right, uh, like, how do I want to, uh, sustain myself, um, and making either, like, how to, dis how to sustain yourself, how to do something, uh, Scorpio, or even perhaps you're trying to decide, uh, the, what's best for you in this situation, right? You have the Strength card, Archangel Ariel, coming forward to you guys, number 11. So write down the number 11, uh, Scorpio, to see how that correlates with you in this reading uh, and just this week in general. This card says, Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, and forgiveness and compassion. So the Strength card is my Shadow Work card, which also, by the way, Scorpio, I always say with if you're open to working with them, regardless of your belief system, if you're open to working with Archangel Ariel or Ariel, however you want to pronounce their name, uh, this the Archangel Ariel would be the one to connect with if you're open to working with Archangels uh, this week. It feels like Archangel Ariel would be the one. I call this my Shadow Work card, as I was saying before. Uh, Scorpio, I see this as the... Um, Probably for a while now, Scorpio, you have been in this phase of uh, just looking inwardly. You've been working on yourself, and it does seem to be like, for some of you uh, Scorpios, this has been shadow work happening because of conflict occurring in your life. Now, I don't know if this is conflict necessarily directly uh, addressing you. And so far, we're not really seeing any cards necessarily where it's like anything like, directly involving you, Scorpio, which is weird to say, I know, but it's almost just like through you watching how other things are playing out, it has you just like self-reflecting with yourself and you're just like, well, what about me? How is this like, uh, what does this mean for me? How does this relate to me in some way? Um, <clears throat> right, you have the five of fire are the five of wands coming in for you, Scorpio. This card says competing goals, bothersome details, and conflict with other people, or conflict with others, rather. So this could just be a situation where it's conflict with other people. Maybe you're watching other people have, like, their own issues, and then it's through watching them, you're just, like, taking it in account for your own situations and stuff. Uh, or this could very much so mean a situation of where some of you Scorpios have been like had a uh, giant old obstacle placed in front of your path, right? And you have to address it now. That's what this fire, uh, the conflict could be, where it's just like conflicting or getting in the way of you going forward in your path. And whatever that obstacle was that was placed in front of you, Scorpio, it's now putting you in the state of uh, 
again, just looking inwardly and really making you think about if you would want to go down. Again, I feel like you kind of had this reading before, Scorpio, where you're like kind of in this place of just like not even sure if you wanted to continue feeding energy into something um, anymore. Uh, nece not, nece not necessarily anything to do with them directly or the situation directly, but just with the environment itself that it was in. And I don't know, it just feels like this kind of state of where uh, for you, Scorpio, um, for some of you, it feels like you don't even quite know what to make of yourself right now. And that probably sounds like a scary thought or a scary idea. Some of you Scorpios are probably just like, oh, well, it's not reading. This reading's not for me. Um, but I don't know. Give me time, Scorpio. We have the Seven of Water coming in for you, or the Seven of Cups. This card says the complex decision, the need to do research, and to stop procrastinating, right? So with whatever this uh, thing that was plopped in front of your path, Scorpio, you spent so much time analyzing things and maybe trying to find deeper meaning in things that there really is just, there's no deep meaning into it, right? Um, you know, you can try to find a deep meaning in like a rock that's been placed on your path, but sometimes that rock is just a rock that was just there, right? Uh, maybe it has no significance whatsoever, right? I do get this sense here with the Seven of Cups here. There is just like the sense of where, and I know this is very familiar to your last reading, Scorpio, where it's just like almost like um, this obsession um, or like this very strong desire to only make decisions or to only have, to only be interested in having like the full story on something and having, I don't know, it just for it just feels like you guys scorpio want a lot more control of a situation than what you have currently right it doesn't you don't enjoy having the cards not being in your favor perhaps or just not quite knowing what is going to come right you like things to be mathematical where it's like two plus two you always know without a question it's going to be four right you like things very much so as like a word problem rather than it being up in the air and um it could ch change at any moment, right? And because you don't like that, right? Um, you, some of you guys may not want to be able to accept that Scorpio. And so because of that, um, you spend so much time still not really like believing in it. So you're just like, all right, no, there's some way I can find some logic to this. And uh, there does come some situation in Scorpio where you kind of have to shrug your shoulders and be like, you know what? Some things are just not going to make sense and what have you. Be at peace with not knowing the full picture on some stuff, right? <clears throat> Now, this is where we get into your Queen of Earth or your Queen of Pentacles. This is the card that says, make time for those around you, take a sensible approach, deal with uh, challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So this is where I was saying before, Scorpio, of where for you, this is kind of like a trying to figure out what is best for you at this time, right? This point in time, you want to figure out something that sustains you more. It feels like for a while, for some of you, uh, Scorpios, you guys have just been ingesting a bunch of empty calories from an energetic point, right? Stuff that really hasn't been fulfilling you too much. And I don't know. And now it feels like almost like with that five of fire, that obstacle that was placed in front of your path, now is one of those times where you're almost taking this opportunity and just being like, all right, well, what do I want to do next, right? What What sounds good to me? Right, what is going to sustain me and help elevate me and take me further, right? Because you're in this place of wanting more, even though, even though Scorpio, I see you in this place of like trying to get more information, trying to just like have more control on things. Um, I do kind of just see you in this place of ready to just like blaze forward as well. And maybe that's why there's a little bit of hesitation because it's for some of you Scorpios, you may be ready to just go extremely all in on a situation. And I feel like for some of you guys, you have to kind of accept the reality Scorpio, you're not going to be able to just go all in on something, right? Maybe there's a reason why you don't know all the information because if you're privy to, privy to everything, you would just go all in and that's not the energy you want to exude 
right? You kind of want to go through this carefully. That's why you're being told the message comes with the Queen of Earth, Scorpio, of where it's like, take time to deal with these situations. Don't rush things along, right? When you deal with the pentacle energy, this is always about like staying grounded, uh, deal with things in a very calm, level-headed manner, right? Not really rushing into things. But then this gets into finally the King of Fire or the King of Wands for you, Scorpio. This card says, focus, 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 communicate with a vision, uh, and be a leader, advice from someone creative. So I believe you got this card last time as well, Scorpio, though I may be wrong. But yeah, I do feel like you guys are just ready to go somewhere. Um, the only feel, I think the best way, to, like the suggestion I would have at this point uh, for you, Scorpio, is to... <clears throat> I would say, except that you're not going to be able to rush into things. I feel like if you were to just take a moment to pause um, and just go through things, like, because here's the thing. I feel like there's like this thing that's been placed in front of you, right? And you don't want to quite make a decision um, without having all the facts. But instead, you kind of need to accept that you're not going to have all the facts, not rush rush into things and just bulldoze ahead and kind of accept that like, you may have to take a step here and two steps over here. You know, you kind of have to like feel it out by the moment. Like things are not just so written in stone, uh, Scorpio. And so when you kind of accept it, things are how they are, where it's like nothing's predictable, right? And then you just go start going with the flow of things and just taking it day by day, minute by minute. Um, that's when you're going to start seeing that progression. It does feel like for some of you Scorpios, there's a lot of resistance that you're dealing with at this time for your own betterment. So you don't just bulldoze and charge straight ahead because I don't feel like it's that easy, right? I don't feel like it's just like a straight narrow shot through to the uh, end goal. But I mean, that's my own personal opinion on it, right? <clears throat> for now, uh, Scorpio, let's see the blessings that are in the works for you uh, this week. Let's pull some cards and see uh, what it is that we can get with the uh, blessings are in the works for my Scorpios. Uh, the cards that we pulled for you, Scorpio, we have the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Swords. So, this is a situation similar to um, Gemini, actually, Scorpio, of where you guys are going to be getting closure in a situation that you um, have put a lot of energy into. With the Seven of Pentacles and this Ten of Swords, you're finally going to hear, this gives me a sense of where it's like, you're finally going to see like the final stages of like some like the life cycle of something that you planted right so take that as you will right for some of you you guys may have planted strawberries and strawberries is like the life cycle for that is where you know like you get that quick satisfaction with like you know maybe if you're doing stocks or something and for some other some other of you guys you guys did potatoes scorpio and so those potatoes may look like um finally uh closing off like the chapter um, having that complete cycle with a relationship of platonic or romantic, right? You get the picture what I'm trying to say is it's just like it, you're going to get like the complete fruition or like just a complete cycle of something that you already just initially planted. But I don't want to just like speak in a fantastical way, Scorpio, where it just is like, oh yeah, rainbows and sunshine. No, some of you guys, that closure may be a little bit rough, maybe a little bit painful that completing that cycle, right? Um, but in all of this, it leaves room for new things to grow. It, re it makes new room uh, for you to plant new seeds, new ideas, right? This Ace of Swords here, it just really the message that comes for forward for this Scorpio is where like you're going to be making up a lot, making a lot of space so you can um, start really putting energy into new things. I really do feel this sense of where it's like a lot of uh, responsibility or weights are being lifted off of your shoulders. I feel like that's that just you having your load lightened in whatever way that looks like for you, Scorpio, is just going to be just such a release for you and just allow you to really um, take this newfound energy, this newfound release, um, and really delve into something completely new, completely different that really ins uh, inspires you and motivates you in some way. So really good cards for that, Scorpio. 
Now, though, I want to see what it is that you Scorpios should be looking out for this week. What is it that my Scorpio should be working on this week? Let's see here. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio. <clears throat> so we have the what it is that my Scorpio should be looking out for this week. We have, let me get these set up properly. We have the Knight of Swords coming in with the... Five of Swords, the Tower card with the Ten of Swords. So Scorpio, what it is that you need to be looking out for this week is really, um, very much so you could have like a very explosive moment um, with like that family life, right? With that Ten of Pentacles, because I'm really honing in on this where it's just like that stable life, right? that found stable foundation, you see the family, the dogs and all that. I really do feel like it was more so honing in on a message of um, people that you know platonically, but you're still really close to. Um, I feel like this is where it's honing in on. And then with this, I just watched that card fall, honey. Let me get it. Uh, Scorpio, forgive me. Oh no, I dropped so many. Oh no, they're all falling. Oh no, they're falling, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> uh, let me get these cards. Uh, all right, Scorpio. Deal with that later. Anyways, so when you have that tower card coming in with that ten of pentacles, this is where it's just like the explosive message comes in of where it's just like... I don't know. I feel like you could just have like a tower card, a tower moment with your family with this five of swords and this knight of swords. This is one of those things where it's like, I kind of see a storyline Scorpio, honestly, of where it's just like you biting your tongue on something and through you biting your tongue or someone biting their tongue for a long time on something that's been bothering them. There it comes to be like an explosive moment of some sort. Cards keep on falling, Scorpio. There it comes to be some type of explosive moment that happens. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. I just like be wary of your communication, um, essentially this week, uh, Scorpio. How you communicate with your family um, and just your close knit circle, just watch for that, right? Because it could be pretty explosive um, in that way. So, uh, wonderful reading overall, I would say, though, Scorpio. I feel pretty good about y'all's reading. Uh, now, let's close out your reading, though, with some oracle cards. Let's start out with your moon oracle cards. Uh, I feel like we're going to do two for you. Let's do two or uh, moon oracle cards for Scorpio. Do that one. And then let's just do two animal oracle cards as well for this. Right, one more card. Mm, yeah, this one. All right, so let's take a look at this, Scorpio. We'll look at your animal oracle cards first. We have the cat card. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others, the codependency. Very fitting if you have it, if that Ten of Pentacles was talking about your family, perhaps. And emu card, now is it, this is a good time to go on a new adventure, right? So this is, I feel like, for some of you Scorpios, this is a message of just embracing just like this, like newness. Some of you guys, I know this is like, th uh, we talk about the things to look out for. You know how I, I was speaking in a way of like avoiding it, right? Avoiding that um, explosiveness, Scorpio. But some of you guys, with how those tarot cards came out, it may seem like this is one of those essential things for you guys to kind of like have that conversation that you're biting your tongue on. Maybe it's kind of essential and like meant for you. Um, but... I don't know. So then we have your new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. With the new moon in Eclipse, expect a powerful change. So yeah, definitely uh, some bold things are probably going to happen. Some randomly explosive, out of the blue things might happen this week, Scorpio. But overall, luck is on your side, right? You just have to remember that. So I'm going to close this reading out now, Scorpio, with uh, where are my crystal cards? I have all these cards that fall all over me, Scorpio, but I can't find the ones that I want to use. Found it. But so I'm gonna pull a crystal card for this week for my Scorpio to 
find out uh, what stone or crystal they should work with this week. Or if you're just looking for someone to enable you to buy a crystal or stone, I'm here to do that for you, Scorpio. Let's see. You guys have Kirsakola. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know, I don't remember what Kirsakola, I know it's a good stone to have. I, I look up the metaphysical, the properties of Kirsakola, uh, Scorpio, and maybe you'll see why this card is calling out to you this week. But uh, that's the reading that I have for you this week, Scorpio. I hope you found some cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Scorpio. And remember, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, I would appreciate it if you were to send them my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Till next time though, Scorpio, I love you so much.